Live from BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, it's the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. Yes, and welcome. We are live from BC Children's Hospital for the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. We're here this evening and all day tomorrow at the hospital, which serves close to a million children living in BC and the Yukon. And I get to hang out with you guys on Saturday night. What could be better? <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like our old days. It isn't it? <laughs> we'll show you stories about the amazing kids who've been at this hospital and the caregivers who help them. We'll also show you how your donations are used to fund the equipment and research that save kids' lives by Ken and Marlene McKenzie who are here with their grandchildren and you know we we often talk about care the whole family receives now you guys have a very special connection as grandparents talk a little bit about uh, the two grandsons you have here and, and some of the reasons why you are donors to the hospital well we are donors because of these little guys right here excuse me I get very emotional it's okay <laughs> they probably wouldn't be with us today without the help that they got from BC Children's Hospital and that their mom got from BC Women's when they were born. So they are very special. Um, Ken, maybe you can talk a little bit about the, the medicine behind it, uh, a little bit more about their condition and, and what, what your grandkids have gone Well, both boys, both boys suffered from RH disease and both of them received many in utero transfusions prior to birth. And I think you may have seen a picture of Colbin at birth. He was very blue. His apgar was one, I think, at the time of birth. And his mother often says that there were at least 18 people in the room at the time of birth from NICU, and it was just wonderful. They wouldn't be with us today if we hadn't had that help, I'm sure. Four of your seven grandkids uh, have been cared for here. So why, um, what was it that you guys decided to do uh, in terms of donating money? Well, after seeing the care that, that all of the kids got when they were here, uh, it, it, I mean, you just had to help. <laughs> you just had to give something back because they, they do such a marvelous job here. It's and it's just not, wonderful. not just donations that you donate uh, regularly, but also planned giving. Talk a little bit about that because I think a lot of people are focused on sort of donating the money right now, this weekend, but there's also ongoing giving that, that you guys are doing. Well, we made a decision. And Thanks to Marlene, it was her idea. We made a decision to leave a legacy on our will, and it was as, as simple as visiting with, in our case, a notary public, you know, making our will, leaving the amount, and then uh, somewhere along the line in information that came from Children's Hospital, because we do make donations throughout the year, there was check this box off if you leave, and it was as easy as telling Children's Hospital that we were leaving a legacy in our will and as such we are here today to be able to talk about it and try and tell other people that it's really simple and impactful to do. Thank you so much. Now I understand you two boys have, have an announcement you want to make. Um, do you, do you want to tell us what you're doing? Well, we play hockey and he started lacrosse and hockey this last year and this year. And so both of us have scored goals in both of the sports. And my favorite position is goal t goaltender. And Kessler's my... is goaltender. Goaltender, okay. too. Okay. And would you like to give some money there that you have in your hand? And so Do you have a check to give to Children's Hospital, each of you? We have a check to give to Children's Hospital. Awesome. Thank you so much. That's Colbin and Kessler, both of whom were saved to your children's hospital. Thank you so much for joining us, Ken and Marlene McKenzie, and sharing your story. It's that easy. You can donate this weekend, but you can also plan for the future. I want people to understand what it means to be the only children's hospital in British Columbia. And I've said this before, is that we have to do it all and we have to be the best. We don't have an option. My name is Maya. I love Gilgit Hospital. <laughs> well, you love it because it has become a second home to us. The thing that is surprising to me is, although he doesn't quite understand his illness, he's so familiar with um, the idea of a hospital that when we go to the grocery store, he asks the cashier if they're doctors because they're in uniform. So he assumes that um, the hospital is everywhere and I'm happy that he 
is so comfortable with the hospital that he doesn't fear it. It saddens me, though, that that's his reality. BC Children's Hospital saved my life. Children's is where Jack was born. It was where he was saved. And it's where he will be raised. We're here one to two times a week. This is a home for him. It's a home away from home. And we're very lucky to have it. When I grow up, I want to be a, a nurse at BC Children's Hospital. It's an unbelievable collaborative environment. So I feel very lucky. I actually feel very privileged. And there's many days where I feel I lucked out because I've got the best job in the world. Oscar still loves to come to BC Children's even after two bouts of cancer. And I think it's because it's not a depressing place to, to be. It's full of light, it's full of love, and it's full of hope. So thank you very much to, for everyone who's donating to Children's Hospital and supporting us. So kids like me who had cancer. So thank you very much to all of you. An incredible moment this is, the energy in this room, if you could feel it. Miracle weekend coming to a close and what an amazing weekend mm -hmm. it has been. All right. We gotta check out the big total. Time to check it out. Yeah. Okay, just so uh, everyone, we're ready to shout out those yep. numbers. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's yeah. do it. Ready. Good. Thank you, BC. One, One six, six, three, four, zero, zero eight, eight. eight. It's a confetti storm. Thank you very much, British Columbia. That was absolutely amazing. We could not have done this without your help. Thanks very much. Gemma, Brooke, Deb, Mark, Ted, and everybody else. See you next year. Little ones laughing, lost in their play. Through grateful eyes, you can hear them say. comes to you from above. Miracles happen with love. Miracles happen with love. And with help from the angel and all of us. Miracles happen, oh yes they do. Here's open someday what happens for you. And peace comes to you from above.